Hey guys, Fisha here. So today we're going to play um, a very fun and somewhat um, um, good, kind of okay dragon deck. So it's uh, Eternal Whale. So this is the new card from the mini expansion. It has ward and when it comes into play, you burn your opponent for two. And then um, when it dies or when it's banished, it puts four of itself that has one uh, that has one play point instead of six into the deck. So the point of this deck is to thin your deck with slaughtering dragon Youth, and then just draw um, and kill people with eternal whale. Um, we've got a case kind of a works as a removal and to refill your hand with whales late game, and all the other stuff stuff are ramp to um, to get to your whale. And this um, Princess Knight to um, to pull specifically your Slaughtering Dragonute and maybe a Zilgania to help you survive until you pull out the whale. And also heal and draw like Dragon Spawning. So yeah, it's a pretty fun deck. Um, we'll talk more about it in the outro I guess, but yeah. Um, it's a bit... Uh, it was a bit overpowered on day one, but I think now... Um, people kind of know how to conjure it better so I think it's a it's an okay deck now so yeah um, I'm gonna show some interesting games guys I hope you enjoy okay so the first game we're gonna uh, do is against runecraft so runecraft is a bit um, complicated I think spell boost right now is um, pretty good. I I made a video about spell boost earlier this week, and in that video, my deck was not ex not very refined. I think the more refined lists now are like much better, and I think they focus more on Rooney, and that just um, makes the deck good. I guess like uh, your Kuans are more like um, feel for your Rooney. Either way though, um, ignoring that, this is actually a dirt deck, so, so a top tier deck uh, before the expansion. So a good thing to um, to showcase here. I just used the draw instead of slaughtering dragon youth because I'm kind of I didn't I don't like slaughtering dragon youth um, without any chance of evo. But yeah, I just played slaughtering dragon youth now. Sadly enough, we didn't draw the oracle or something. We did draw two whales, which is good. Too many whales in your hand is in, is uh, in your deck is not good. Um, the full cost whales, anyways. Anyways, they do have this. I imagine they wanted me to evo this so that. Um, that it kills itself and it fills the board with like uh, with earth sigils for them. I didn't do that. Just play the whale and evo the whale instead, protecting this so that it can actually clear big stuff if they put um, like golems and stuff. So yeah, now you have a seven-seven whale here. That's pretty good. And they madcap. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it seems that they do not have and <laughs> did not have two spells. So, rip. Well, since they didn't have any any spells, I just however <laughs> just played this, and you can see two one play point whales. They don't have any um, cards in hand, so I just give up. Okay, so the second match that I wanted to show was a Dragon Mirror. So this Dragon Mirror, um, it's it's difficult to say. Like it's a double, um, it's a mirror of like Eternal Whales, but like um, yeah, it really depends on the luck and a bit of how you play it. So this was actually a, um, a close game for me, and that's why I kind of wanted to show it. <laughs> this figure is pretty um, BME. So yeah, I got the ja Devil Dragon Oracle. That the Dragon Oracle too. But since I already have the whale here, 
decided to just um, play that and then Dragon Oracle play next turn Wildly with Dragon Spawning. There we go. So this way, next turn, um, even if they go face, uh, even if they damage my face this turn, next turn I heal. Plus I draw, um, I draw cards. Which is kind of important. But yeah, so they kind of, um, they kind of uh, evil that maybe so that uh, it'll cancel each other out. I just attack it because they, if I if I do like they could like if I try to kill my whale on it they could just play their own whale and then um, suicide it to the main so I thought this was better. Um, I kind of did not want to destroy their whale even though it has. Um, even though it has 4 HP. So I just played this. Not even evoing because what's the point? So all the damage we just uh, dealt kind of is eliminated. And this is looking kind of bad because this is one of the ways you can actually beat the mirror is by having opportunities to go face so you actually uh, win faster. But yeah, um, I decided, oh, whatever, I'll just um, remove their wheel anyways. No biggie. Just above this. And treat. And play out the wheels. Red line HPs are not amazing, but like if they're a normal wheel deck, you should be winning. So it's actually quite uh, difficult for a whale deck without any evos to kill more than one big pin. Especially if they don't have something like we've got a case. So they're, ba uh, they're banking right now on me not being able to clear these and just losing on burn. Fortunately, we do have a way to clear these. And we also, like, that's why I saved an evo. We also have the firepower to just set up lethal, just need to evo this, and then I got 10 damage to their face, so they just concede. Pretty, um, pretty close mirror I think, because if I didn't do that, they would just kill me. Okay, so our next match is against uh, Shadowcraft. So I just wanted to show um, what Shadowcraft is up to recently um, in this Nimin expansion. Obviously it was um, top tier in the last expansion, uh, in the last meta and then, not well, expansion, what am I talking about? And um, it got some nerfs, like Sarkiston was pretty heavily nerfed um, and it got new cards in the form of Nep. And to be honest, I don't think it's good. I think it's a meme, but especially in rotation. But yeah, um, it seems it seems cool enough. So yeah, I just wanted to show how the, how the state of Shadow is going recently. They play a one-tailed fox, which means this de this definitely is a um, nap deck because playing um, playing Kinsetsu in Nephthys is pretty good because it counts as nine play points and also two play points. Mostly because um, 9 play points because of the Kinsetsu and 2 play points because it summons a wild tailed fox. Now here I let them make a board. Just because I can recover later with a slaughtering dragon yet. First I play the Princess Knight just to pull the Delginia in case we need it. Or another dragon yet would be also fine. It can pull either. And in the end, uh, they lost their board, and they didn't play Miltio on 5, which is lucky for me. They did play Jack Shovel though, which is actually pretty good in Nephthys too, because it summons 1-1s, one -ones, which cover the 1 play point slot, and you don't, so you don't have to run your own 1-1. One -one. Bit of a late cloister. Um, it only heals now, so I get it, but yeah. 
Anyways, I decided to just um, start playing the wheel and drawing. So, once we have the wheels and we can draw, we can just put down the wheels until we win. That's how it works. And the wheels are pretty huge too, like there are five sevens that turn into seven lines. So they're humongous too. They're able to like, um, kill it though, eventually. I think they play a Milseo here, yeah. Just by having the Milseo. Now they have um, a formidable board. Mm. Not an amazing board, but a formidable one. So they trade here. Um, so because they traded, you can't heal with closer Tarkistan anymore, which is good for us. I imagine if Squizzard could still destroy, they probably wouldn't have done that, I don't know. So here's the Princess Knight. Uh, I evo him, just so I can have as much status on bar. Because I have uh, one play point wheel here. So that's why, so this way I have like a 5-2 on board instead of just a 5-7. Here we go now. Um, the cavalry has come. All of the invokes coming in, and of course the amulet. I gave them some draw, which is pretty good for them because they can do this. Same with stash. and then Jack Shovel Gravedigger. So this is actually a pretty intimidating board, but fortunately enough, we have two skill with it. One of them is that, and then we just play wheels. Until the area is full. And then go face. But why not, right? We're at 15, nothing's gonna happen to us. And they have 3 health left, so if they don't clear everything on board. Except maybe the. Uh, yeah, even this guy, because whales can deal 2 damage burn. They have to clear the entire board. That's kind of impossible. So yeah, we basically won this match. Nephis, mm, there's Nephis. I'm not sure if, that's, if she's any good to be honest. Pretty sad. But yeah, nice board. I think she just go face. That's why they gave up. Okay, so this is the last match that I wanted to show today. Um, Pearl Craft. So I think Pearlograph actually got really buffed um, this, uh, this mini expansion. I think it's um, one of the main weaknesses I found with Pearlograph was that it lacked uh, sufficient board clear early enough at like turn 7 or 8. Had to wait turn 9 for the board clear and turn 9 it wasn't uh, always guaranteed. Well now they have guaranteed turn 9, uh, a good turn 9 play. Either clear or summon some uh, or summon a big board, and they have like um, and they have a board clear for turn eight and turn seven with uh, Lucille Token, Spinaria, and Lucille. So which and en ended ended up being uh, actually pretty okay because uh, Lucille can um, can tutor her with her regular effect, which happens a lot in my experience. But yeah, here we go. After um, okay, after Bampi, just play the Slaughtering Dragon here. Just because I wanted to be a bit threatening. Like, oh look, I can clear your board. Not sure why they play an ab ab absolute modesty into it. Um, maybe they just really want that back. Not sure why they would attack it. Um, when it can't even attack him for a bit, maybe Evo, maybe the Evo, if it, it'll die anyways, I'm not sure. Either way, I took the chance to put an Eternal Veil. So, Portal actually has a really good answer to this in Magnir. Uh, the problem is, I don't think they have Magnir. And I don't think they're proficient in the artifact too, maybe. Like, um, shouldn't you play artifacts game after you play the artifacts? But after you kill the artifact, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's to conserve hand size, hand size for, or something, because they're at 8, 10 size. But then they also put the analyzing artifact, which is another draw, so I don't get it. Either way, I just dig for whales. So I just started digging for whales. 
Yeah, each male deals 2 damage. Pretty okay. I didn't think 2 um, two one was too intimidating, but like, you can never be too safe. So I just traded him. Now it's their turn, and they play Lucille, of course. Here's Lucille's power. It's uh, it's an 8 play point for your removal, but other than that, it doesn't do much. So we're left with a good like 7 damage on board. Scratch that, 6 damage on board. But yeah, I just play the Eternal Whale here, and since nothing else can be played, I play Zelgonia just to heal. And then just Evo the Eternal Whale to their face. So yeah, um, if Portal doesn't draw Magnir, this is kind of a tough uh, matchup for them to be honest. Especially because they don't have that much healing except for Keen Edge, which is pretty great heal I think. But maybe not enough. Either way, they give up because they see the um, writing on the wall. This is what happens when you play Portal against Dragoncraft without any Magnirs in hand. Okay guys, that was Whale Dragon. Pretty uh pretty fun deck at first, I think. Um if you play it for too long, I kinda feel like it'll be a bit too monotone because you're just basically gonna be spamming eternal whales. And if they have a way to like counter you, like for example, um Rune has that card, three play points that can turn anything into an amulet uh, into a any follower or amulet into like a Klingon. That can just turn this off. Like in the last video of Spell Boost, I kind of did that to a dragon player and they just conceded. Aside from that, um, Mugnir definitely presents a threat. And um, sometimes even like. Um, sometimes even like Steadfast Samurai could cause a threat if you're not ready with their removal. So, yeah, is it top tier? Not sure. Is it ridiculous? Yes. Can it be annoying? I'm pretty sure yes. <laughs> Either way though guys, thanks for watching. Um, give me a, give, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And give me a sub if you loved it. And have a nice day.